Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of 12 Inch Figure Fanatics. So today we're going to be doing a unboxing and review of Black Box Toys No Time to Die 007 James Bond figure. Now um, this, this figure is in honor of the new film that was originally supposed to come out in, uh, well what was it, last April, then it became November, uh, now it's next year. I don't even bother anymore. It's going to come out when it's going to come out. Anyways, I also already have a James Bond figure that I'm going to do a side-by-side -side with this one and see if it beats out the figure that I already have. I've done this type of review before where I am possibly replacing a figure that I already have, and we'll see if this one is worthy. Check it out. All right, so nothing's too special about the box. It's got a slip. It's um, illustrated on all four sides. Uh, it's got uh, a little bit of detail on what's included in the, the uh, box with the figure. I've been uh, pretty impressed with black box toys stuff that I've, I've gotten so far. I haven't been uh, too caught off guard with um, the actual figure not matching up with the photos that they initially present to sell it. Okay, let's see here. Oh boy. Oh boy. This one's stuck in there. Doesn't have that new box smell. Then usually when I open a box, it's got, got that whiff of, I guess the boxing materials and plastic and just a combination of newness smell. All right, so. All right, so initial impressions of the head sculpt itself, I'm pretty good. I mean, it doesn't have much uh, depth and detail in the painting itself but the head sculpt, the likeness, is appropriate. Um, the eyes do have mm, some realism to them, but it's almost like the eyes are too small. Mm, maybe that's just me. And uh, the, the hair sculpting is decent enough. No complaints there. Um, so, hmm. I, uh, I think like the sh the shoulders are too broad, or maybe it's the way that the material is, the stitching, um, the bow tie may be a little bit too small. Yeah, I think it's too small. Um, but the quality of the suit itself is nice, and they even got the um, the strapping on the side of the tuxedo pants there. Um, got the stripe tuxedo pants stripe there uh, the the pants although the material thickness is appropriate they may be a little bit too thick um i would like to have seen the material tightened up a little bit there um no socks they're just a uh, rotatable peg leg the uh the shoes do lace so that's good Don't have any weathering on the bottom of the shoes. Sometimes that's a nice touch to see that they uh, uh, weather the bottom of the shoes. Uh, this one, not so much so. Um, yeah, it's okay. It's got the, uh, the collar has this shininess to it, this sheen um, separate from the, the um, flat sort of material that the rest of the figure encompasses. Yeah, let's see what it comes with. So you got some extra buttons because the buttons do fall off. They're just kind of stuck on there. All right, garbage, garbage. All right, we got a pair of suspenders. Now, if you look at my Leonardo DiCaprio video and um, I believe my Sa Saving Private Ryan figure video, I, I'm not a big fan of having to put the suspenders on myself because I tend to do a pretty bad job and break something, but um, they're there. Got a nice little watch, and it does have the, does it? Yep, it's, it's got the Omega logo on there. So that's pretty good. Oh, 
You got the uh, Walther PPK standard issue for James Bond. Uh, does the slide work? Yep, slide does work. And magazine does come out. Rounds are painted inside. I'm always a fan of the rounds painted inside. I hate when they go so far as to have a removable magazine and then they don't paint the rounds in there. All right, we got this steel folding buttstock. And let's see, yeah, that, that has a uh, spring lever that, that moves back and it, it rests in the back position too. Magazine comes out, rounds visible, yes, not bad. Working trigger, nope, not surprised, not standard. Um, looks like this moves. That's interesting. And then you got this, this strap thing here. So it's not weathered at all. It's just the sculpt itself put together. But um, I like how there's some moving parts to it. And then you got two additional hands. Looks like a pistol grip hand and a cupping hand to maybe hold the, uh, the rifle with the other hand. Now let's do a side-by-side -side with the figure I already have. And I have a few ideas of where it's gonna go anyway, but let's uh, look at them next to each other. All right, here's a side-by-side -side of the two figures. Now the first thing I have to point out is the shirt on my custom. It just these these yellowish orange stains just appeared on the shirt um, over time, and I don't know why I didn't spill anything on it or anything, but uh, that kind of frustrated me. Um, but you know, looking at the two head sculpts, um, I'd have to say I don't like the the part on the head sculpt here. I don't remember him in any of the films actually having a part like that. Uh, maybe in the first film, but um, the eyes are also kind of haphazardly done. Uh, got some layering to the paint, but it, it doesn't have any uh, realism to it, really. Um, difference in bow ties, size, obviously. The, uh, the black box figure, as I suspected, the bow ties seems a little too small. Um, I'd have to say that the head sculpt on the black box one takes the cake. Even though the eyeballs, I'm still convinced, are too small. Yeah. It does have more of a likeness of him, though. And I think that I'm not happy with the shoulders either. I like I like the 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 fit of the other suit and what it does to the shoulders. This one just seems a little too broad, uh, a little too fake. Um, the pants, I am convinced, are too loose. Um, I also like how the shoes are shiny on my custom. They're flat on this one. I'm gonna have to do some um, investigation because I think they were shiny in um, the film shots that um, the studio released. So, I don't, overall, I'll give, uh, I'll give the figure a uh, 7.5. It didn't do anything to wow me at all. Everything was pretty standard all the way through, and there were some shortcomings. Um, when there's any issues with the head sculpt, uh, like those beady looking eyes, um, they really take off a lot of points. Anyways, thanks for tuning in, and uh, if you haven't done so, check out my full collection video. I think it's like two or three videos ago. Take it easy.